Good morning everyone. So for today's tutorial is I'm going to teach you how to plot bearings in AutoCAD. So especially in our school first year, most of the time we are given some activities with regards to the site development. So if you have the survey of the bearing of your lot, you can use AutoCAD to plot the respective bearing so let's start so of course we're going to open a new CAD file so just by clicking this plus button so there so right now we have our new CAD file so here I have a sample technical description of a bearing of a lot of a particular lot so here it is so it has the line and then its respective bearing and its distances so these are the data that we need in order to plot these bearings here in AutoCAD so to start with let us first check if the unit of our CAD file is in meters because here the distances given are in meters so we want to um, align our drawing file to the respective given unit so how do we do that so most of the time um, especially me when I was new in using AutoCAD I would um, prefer using or typing UN for the unit and then I'll just check it here if it's in meter or in millimeters but however if you do this setting this into meters and then clicking it OK it is not entirely in meter already right so how do we set our model into meter unit so by simply typing dwg un or the dwg units so then click enter then it will ask you to select a number from 1 to 6 with respective unit of length so in here we're going since we're going to use meters we will be typing 6 for meters so by typing 6 we are going to set our the unit of our model into meter so then type enter then next it will ask for the drawing drawing unit display format if it's scientific or decimal but most of the time we use a decimal so by just type 2 then click enter then it will ask you the linear display precision like how many decimal places you want the unit to appear is it four decimal places three decimal places two decimal places so it's up to you or if your instructor or in your class you are given some instructions to use four decimal places you can do it here so right now i'm just going to use two decimal precision or two decimal places and then type enter then it will ask if it's going to scale objects from other drawings upon answer to so just click on yes and yes so just click on yes 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 and then you go and then there you go you have your you have now your drawing set to meters then after that we can now begin plotting our bearings so how do we do that so we will go back again to the UN then click enter then under here the angle so we're just going to set this to surveyors units because we're going to plot certain uh, certain bearings here in the CAD drawing so just set it to surveyors units and then just set our precision to this one zero degrees and minutes but if you are but if you are given 
um, seconds as well you can just set it here but for my technical description um, since we are given with degrees minutes and seconds so we're going to set set it to the third one so there you go then just click ok okay so now we will start so first we have our first line which has a bearing of 65 degrees 53 minutes 28 seconds north east and it has a distance of 21.187 meters so let's plot that in CAD so simply by typing L for line or you can also use PL for line or you can just click it up here so this time I will just use the polyline so just click on the polyline then just click um, anywhere in the in the CAD drawing so I'm just gonna click here and then after you click okay after you click you're just going to press on your keyboard shift 2 or we're going to click the at symbol so in keyboard it is shift plus 2 or just click um, simultaneously shift and 2 there you go then at first it will ask for the distance so from our technical description we have our distance as 21.187 so we're going to type that 21.187 then after putting in the value for the distance we're going to input the bearing of that line so in putting the value for the bearing we will first use the uh, less than command as you can see here so after we, we put the value of the distance we're going to put the value of the bearing by first we need to insert this symbol this less than symbol so in the keyboard you can just um, click shift and then the less than arrow okay so I'm gonna do it so shift and then less than arrow so there you go then you can now type in the value for the bearing okay so we have here our bearing is 65 degrees 53 minutes and 28 seconds it is northeast so I'm gonna type first the north so N then no need to add some spaces because it will automatically um, determine the bearing then I'm just gonna go back again because I forgot 65 degrees 53 minutes and 20 seconds so type 65 so here you can just use the letter D for degrees okay it's uh, very similar with the degree symbol okay so can you, you can just use the letter D as degree then 53 minutes and 28 seconds this one then east then just after that you can now click enter so there you have it so we have now our first line and bearing so it will just um, same manner of plotting the other lines and bearings so you're just going to press shift 2 again then type the distance so we have our next distance as 14.9 meters so we're gonna type that in 14.9 meters then shift then less than arrow symbol and then type the bearing so our next bearing is 30 degrees and 53 30 degrees 43 minutes and then 54 seconds so let's just type that in so north 
30 degrees again you can just use the letter D for the degree symbol and then next we have 43 minutes and 54 second west then click enter okay so there we have our second line then same as goes to the other line so shift 2 then the given distance which is 21.789 meters then shift less than arrow symbol then south 79 degrees 23 minutes and 21 seconds west then enter the next last line we have the distance so shift to 19.960 shift less then arrow symbol then the bearing we have south 29 degrees 2 minutes and 53 second east click enter and there you have there you have it our lot area so that is the easy step in plotting the bearings of your lot so if you wish to um, determine the area of this lot you can just simply use the utilities under here which is in the ribbon tab so under measure just click on the arrow then click on the area okay then you're just going to click on the uh, corners of your lot so click here 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 and then you can just type T for total or you can just right click and then enter so there so that the area of this lot is 363.08 square meter and it also have its perimeter which is 77.84 meters okay so again we've set our uh, the unit for our model into meters so just to add some um, architectural value with this lot area we're going to type in the area in the, in, in the inside of our lot and apply some hatches so let's again remember 363.08 is the total area of this lot in square meter so just I'm gonna click exit or just type escape then we're gonna add some text so here just click text and then just gonna do it here then I'm gonna type the area or you say total area or this um, lot area that is 363.08 then type meters squared then to make this two as an exponent just highlight this two and then click here I know rather this just does just this two highlight it and then there then just click um, close so as you can see medyo hindi natin nakikita kasi malit yung yung text height so just highlight it and then you can, you can just go to properties and click enter then under the text you, you are going to look for the text height then you can just adjust to your preferred height for example I'm gonna use one so I think it's good already so just gonna extend this one there you go so that is the lot area now I'm done I'm, so at this time we're going we are going to add some numbers in the corner of this line so just for us to be um, to be able to identify which where it, where is the line 1 to 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 so to do that you just 
gonna put some numbers in that corner so I think I'm just gonna copy this one and then double clicking on it just to edit the text I'm gonna type 1 I'm just gonna adjust this one then put it in the center so there you go so I'm just gonna put move this one here so I think our one is here just gonna copy this and then our two is here three and then four so we're just going to edit numbers two So there you go. And lastly, we're going to apply some hatches within this lot area. So to do that, you can just type H for hatch, then click on the lot area. There you go. Then we're just gonna choose this NC1, NC32. So just click on it. There you go. So if you want, if you want to adjust the size of your hatch you can do it here okay so let's just try 0.5 so there you go if you want it to be more um, scaled down you can just edit and put how about 0.2 there you go i think it's okay so again that's how you plot bearings on AutoCAD if you want to visually represent your um, lot especially if you're going to submit your site development plan and yeah so I hope you've learned something and hope to see you soon for more tutorial videos regarding to AutoCAD drawing thank you and have a good day